Hey friends, as most of you are aware, we are reopening next week, April 17, to indoor services. I'm so excited. Oh, man, what a year. Uh, <laughs> so it's time. So before we return, I wanna share some guidelines that we were asking if, that you could please follow, okay? Now these guidelines are based on the state, the county and conference guidelines that were given to us that we need to abide by to reopen. So listen up, just follow along okay, so that we can remain open. Now, service time. What time are we starting? We are starting at 11 a.m. and doors will open at 1045, okay? Now, if you choose to park in the parking lot when you get to church, um, and when you drive back there, please note that every other space will contain an X on it. All right? Now, the X spots, you cannot park in those. But if there's no X, please feel free to park in that spot. All right? Um, so, as well, you know, handicapped spots, please save those for, the, for those who are legitimately have a placard and everything. All right? Um, and if there are no available spots open, please park on the street. Uh, now for the last year, we have been bombarded by the fact of gotta wear a mask, right? So everyone is required to wear a mask, even uh, myself on the pulpit. I'll be actually preaching with the mask, at least for the time being until uh, hopefully that, that gets lifted soon, all right? We know it's not ideal, but that's the expectation at this point. Now, there is no rule that your mask, however, must match your outfit. So, well, you know, use any mask that will do, okay? Linda, which one of these masks matches my outfit? And when it comes to greetings, okay, when you get to church, we're following the current six foot rule, therefore, no, you know, uh, <laughs> handshakes, no hugs, no fists or elbow bumps. Uh, are allowed to be uh, administered at this time, all right? So some of you may be asking, well, well Pastor, how, how are we supposed to greet each other? Well, you can always use the old-fashioned hello. You can wave. You can do the heart pound. You can make a peace sign. Uh, you know, you can tip your hat, or you can give the, the two-finger salute head nod, or a personal favorite, to live long and prosper. Live long and prosper? Have a... <laughs> now, when you, when you get to the church and you're about to enter the church, we do have a team uh, of individuals to greet you and as well to take uh, your temperature check and also ask if you're experiencing any symptoms, okay? So, uh, you know, make sure you're, you don't have a fever, uh, but also if you have a fever or, you know, you, you feel like you have the chills, you're having difficulty breathing, or maybe you're even under isolation or quarantine, please wait until you're feeling healthy and are able to come back, okay? So if any of these apply to you, please wait, uh, because we don't want to have to ask you to please come back at a later time, all right? So thank you. Now, when you get inside the church and as you enter the sanctuary, okay, please note we have uh, cordoned off every other pew. And, and when you sit down, please sit down as a household, all right? So mom, dad, brother, sister, you name it, sit as a group, okay? Uh, we'll be separated by households and individuals. And again, we need to maintain six feet from each other at this point. And when the service is over, we'll dismiss pew by pew, starting from the rear and then moving forward. And we're gonna have to ask, unfortunately, at this point, we need you to head immediately to the parking lot. However, okay, we, we left you a, a light, nice little surprise. Uh, so when you walk in and you see the cordoned off pews, check the signs that are posted uh, on the cordoned off pews. I think you're probably gonna get a little bit of a kick or a laugh out of that. We also wanna ask, uh, you know, for those who arrive earlier, please sit towards the front, so that way, uh, this, as as uh, seats uh, are uh, heading towards the back, uh, they're still available. Okay. Um, last thing, as far as uh, 
Parents, please remember as well, they must be in your direct supervision at this time, okay? So please don't let them run off or go to the bathroom, for instance, by themselves. All right, thank you everyone for following these guidelines. We look forward to seeing you all next Sabbath. I'm ready, I'm stoked, and uh, I can't wait to see all of you. May the Lord bless you. Take care.